Today, we're going to take a look at the Hayaxa weather station, just under $70. And to answer your question, yep, this is all that comes with it. Let's take a look. We're going to open it up and we're going to see, is this thing worth $70? I'm not sure. There is your handy dandy user's manual. Here is your indoor outdoor sensor and <clears throat> your AC adapter. It's got indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity sensors. It's got a seven and a half inch LCD display. It's much lighter than most inexpensive tablets. Sensor takes two AA batteries. Uh, here's the thing. It requires downloading the Hayaxa smart app. So we'll see about that. We're going to run through the whole setup and everything. Comes with one sensor, but is upgradable up to three sensors. So what is this thing? So I'm going to be honest on my upfront thoughts on this. It is a weather station for somebody who wants instant access to internet weather. This is basically tablet or an app paired with an indoor outdoor temperature sensor and humidity sensor. A weather station to me includes at least also a wind gauge and hopefully a rain measurement gauge, but at least one of those two. Now, maybe they'll offer those as upgrades down the road. I don't know. In case you're wondering where the weather uh, information comes from, in the manual, it's not very clear. It says, the future weather forecast and temperature report function, weather forecast information provided by the network. So let's get into this. We're going to hook it up. We're going to download the app. We're going to plug it in. We're going to see exactly what it looks like. The back's got a couple of very very thin kickstands they hold up though any buttons power temperature memory brightness up or down one says okay on it and these are buttons that will probably have some future model will they'll include in the back maybe for writing i don't know anyway it falls over really easy and i do not like that kickstand on the back so it is a nice looking screen though it actually has dividers that you can see when the power is turned off let me see if i can show you here you see those if it's just using a whole bunch of individual little led screens or not but as of right now that's what you're looking at now i need to download the app and see exactly what happens so hang in there so you can just search for the hey axa app in the app store or you can click on the qr code that comes in the manual and then you just go in here to the setup go to home management then you want to create an account log in you're going to use your email address they're going to send you a code and then you're going to input that create a password and then you are logged in it's going to ask you do you want to allow access to bluetooth click yes both times then search for a device put in your wi-fi information and there is the Hyaxa weather app. And there is the weather for where I live in Provost, Alberta. It was really that simple. There's a fairly extensive FAQ built into the app as well. And it'll answer any of your questions you have. Well, it didn't take too long at all. So my thoughts on this weather station. Well... It's light as a feather. You pick up the tablet and it feels like a magazine. It's that thin. The kickstand, not great. When it's standing there, it's fine, but you bump it a little bit, it wants to fall down. So I would say mount it to the wall. I wasn't that disappointed with this product. I really thought I was going to be. I actually really like the interface. I really like the fact that it gives you a four-day forecast. It would be great for older people who don't use a smartphone, who just want something on their wall that tells them what the weather is going to be like over the next few days. The screen was really bright, easy to read, and it was dead simple to set up. The app wasn't like some of these imported product apps that I've tried to use before. It didn't feel sketchy. It, I think it would also be really good to have on your wall by the back door as you're on your way out the door to take a quick look and make last minute preparations for the weather. This just give you the weather. It wouldn't be worth it. And to be honest, if that's all you're getting something for, I probably wouldn't pick this up. But it does have one function that I kind of like. It gives you the ability to monitor your indoor and outdoor temperature sensors 
remotely via the app, something I didn't realize when I was first setting it up. But it'd be a really good thing for keeping an eye on a greenhouse while you're away for the day to make sure the temperature doesn't get too high. Or it'd be really good to keep an eye on an empty building in the wintertime to make sure it doesn't get too cold. It does have a space for backup batteries in the back. So if the power goes out, it's got a little backup built in. It's $69.99 on Hayaxa, H-E-Y-A-X-A dot com. I'll put the link below. Here's my thoughts though. To be absolutely honest, if I'm going to spend $70 on a weather station, I'm going to spend $109 and get one with a wind and a rain sensor. I wouldn't call this a weather station as much as I would call it a temperature station. It's not a bad product, but it doesn't fit what I want it to do. For me, a weather station includes rain and wind as well. This just doesn't. So keep in mind what it is if you're looking at this particular weather station. And if you're still here, that means I made this review just for you. So hit the subscribe button, stick around so you get a bunch more cool gear review videos just like this one. And if you're into remote temperature sensing and that sort of thing, check out the review I did right here on the GoV temperature sensors that I use to monitor freezers to make sure I don't lose a great big investment. So with that, guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.